Hey everybody, welcome to this new video of Solaris Ray doing a video analysis or a replay analysis of a League of Legends game. Today we're gonna be uh, following the game of Flawless Demon Boss, his uh, master. Um, uh, we can, I found this replay in a, a Professor. It's a very good application for uh, League of Legends. So if you don't use it, I really uh, recommend that you use it. It's free on top of that. But yes, the uh, Solaris Raid channel originally was a League of Legends channel and since we uh, finished the Borders Gate series and uh, if you watch this video, it also means that uh, uh, you know that the uh, Rimworld series has been finished. So I decided to uh, do another challenge and the challenge that I want to go uh, to is uh, reaching Diamond before the end of the season and uh, so I've been playing League of Legends uh, pretty actively since I finished the Rimworld series so you will be able to to see more League of Legends content uh, in the channel uh, in the future at the moment I'm still training I'm going through the ranks I'm at the moment of this video I'm bronze one I'm trying to climb all the way up to silver and so forth so uh, once I would be satisfied with the quality of my match in the games, I will put uh, some uh, of my videos on the YouTube channel. But for now, I am learning and I think it's going to be very important for anybody that is interested to climb to study the best people or the best players in League of Legends. And at the moment, I'm very interested to climb with Jax. I think it's a very powerful champ. It's also uh, not picked that often, not banned that often. It's pretty stable. It hasn't been changed too much over the years. Even if in patch 1.16, uh, sorry, 10.16, he has had a buff on his E of two seconds cooldown reduction um, for the, the E. I think it went from 16 to 14 seconds. Uh, but that's not the reason why I'm playing the champ. Uh, even if it was 16 seconds, I will play him. It's just. For me, like he's fun, he has a dash, uh, he has an E that can uh, protect him against basic attacks, stun people, uh, do damage, he has an uh, auto attack reset with the W, his passive is very good for taking objective, his ultimate is very good too. So it's a very fun champ uh, as far as I'm concerned, plus he has a very high skill cap. Um, I know that some people th think it's, uh, it's kind of boring. But if you are interested to climb, you really uh, of interested to climb in top lane. You really need to have a solid champ that has a high skill cap that you can put the hours in to master the ins and outs of the champion, and uh, so like that you can, you know, once you master the, the the mechanics of the champion, you can also focus on the micro of the game. Um, now, the reason why I picked this this replay is apparently the Jax did pretty well there. Uh, I have an issue at the moment when I'm playing Jax, when I, I make the analysis of the, um, you know, uh, let me let me show that in the video. Uh, so my profile, so as you can see, um, at the moment, that, that is my profile, Solarish Ray, I'm Bronze One. Um, I'm playing Jax most of the time. But I have a lot of issues that I need to clean. Um, uh, so mainly, the I, I, I try to see how I can show that to you guys. But um, yeah, in ranked top, let's say. Yeah. Okay. So I have a, I have a, some issues. It's like uh, when I play with Jax, my kill participation is pretty low, right? Why? Because my focus is um, is on objectives, right? So uh, if you look at what I've done, right, the average Jax player in, in terms of care participation, I'm pretty low, right? Um, and the number of dents, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty uh, on with the average. But you see, I'm way underneath, and I want to find a way to solve this problem. The second thing uh, as well. So farming, I'm a little bit under, but uh, gold advantage minions generally I'm, I'm, I'm not too bad I'm uh, in the curve right I'm maybe a little bit above the curve um, but here here is, is where I want to focus right it's doing damage to the objectives right 
So if you look, I'm uh, pretty on par with the average, but I, I try to go beyond, right? I'm uh, above the bronze player in terms of destroying, uh, taking the rift arrows, uh, you know, taking the barons, taking the towers, uh, because that's what I focus on, right? My focus when I, I play the game is to take the towers as fast as I can, take the objectives like the Baron, the Rift Devils, the Dragons, um, you know, uh, focusing on, on the objectives and speed pushing because Jax is a very good speed pusher, very good speed pusher. And I fear that when I go in team fights, I'm not necessarily leveraging um, the, the true advantages of Jax, but at the same time, uh, you can also uh, try to speed push and help the team, right? And that's the thing that I want to improve because I, I fear that I'm lack lasting in this. And that's why I'm looking at this game because the, as I said, the Jacks did pretty well. So what we're gonna do in this uh, replay is that we're gonna follow the view of Jax, right? Uh, so we're gonna set on him and we're gonna look at what he brought and also, um, Let's see. Okay, so he went Conqueror, right? That's a popular uh, rune build uh, with Jax. Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, which is interesting. Generally, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's more Coup de Gras, Coup de Gras, uh, that we, um, we use generally in Jax. And also have Magic Footwear and Cosmic Insight. That's another interesting thing. So, what did he take? Ah, uh, okay. This is very fascinating, guys. Uh, he took Doran's Blade and po Potion, and I do agree. Like, I know that the standard build with Jax is to generally take a Corruption Potion and uh, and the Ward, but... Uh, I, I don't know, like, so this is very interesting to me what he have done there because he, he did Cosmic Insight and Magic Footwear. Uh, it's very likely that it's going to be uh, mana dependent the entire game. Unless, uh, uh, or at least until he buy the Sheen, maybe. Um, so he's leashing for the jungler. The jungler is going to do red. It's going to pop all the way here. He, he may want to change the lane. Wait, let's see. It's going to be against a Kesa and a Senna. Okay, interesting. Yeah, well, it should like trying to gank uh, an Akali is gonna be different and uh, difficult. Yeah, Akali went to Doran's, uh, Doran's shield. Huh? Oh, okay. So uh, Jax, of, of course, went with the E. He went aggressive straight away. But I, I found very interesting that uh, if if he went Doran's blade, that he didn't try to go mana flow band or something like that because that really helps with the mana issue. Now. You know, depending on how you play Jax, you, don't, you may not necessarily have to like, Oh, look at that. Level 2 advantage. Boom! Jax went straight on Akali. Ah, uh, she did. Ah, uh, no. She went down. Okay, cool. Alright, so the trade is kind of even with an advantage with Akali. Very interesting. Very interesting. I love seeing this. Alright, so... Let me, let me learn the replay function. Uh, okay, so we're gonna speed up a little bit. Okay, so you see like Okay, so Jack's ear I've hit level 3 First and he's gonna jump on her Interesting And then flash yeah, he's right because hmm, I Don't know that like, th this is a this is a good question. Yeah, it's a very questionable um but it's this scene that tried to gank uh, Jax. But this is this is a very questionable play here, but that he did just previously. Let's see. Let's go back. Let's go back uh, in on Jax. Okay. So the reason why I find it questionable is because if you attack Akari, okay. So he jumped on Akari. He did some damage. Okay. So this is why I found questionable. He uses E. At this point because he wants to protect himself from uh you know the damage i understand but really so it's done it went back okay it was on cooldown with the leap mm. all right 
So the, the reason why I say that it's questionable uh, is because ideally what you want to do in this instance as far as I uh, understand the matchup is like try to trade with Akadi and keep your E when she tries to jump on you. So you don't necessarily want to use your E when she goes to the shroud um, necessarily, right? So let's see what kind of items did he buy. Okay, he buy a long sword, a potion. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so we're gonna speed up a little bit to return to the lane. Okay, so he's puffing down. He put the ward there. Interesting. He, he wants to have the time to uh, to react to this in. All right. Now Akari didn't back yet, so Jax have uh, the item advantage. Now, for some reason, I don't necessarily know how to uh, to put the gold uh, event, but um, she's level 5, he's level 3. My goodness, she has a huge level advantage on that. Okay, so now I see I see the tower. She's contesting the canyon minion. Oh, well, Jax is contesting. Okay, he grabbed it. Okay, cool. Trying to, you see, he's trying to see us under the tower, but she's not allowing to. Now, I presume Akali left. Jax is CSing under the tower. Is that 18 CS against 35? Yeah, it's down the drain. And now, Akali has a Hashtag Revolver, which is horrendous. She's going to be able to regenerate, I think, right? Damage. Ah, no, no, that's not yet. Damaging an enemy champion with a basic attack to shock them for. Zero bonus uh, magic damage, 40, 40 second cooldown. Okay. I presume that she wants to do the X tech belt to have more mobility. Alright. But Jax is slowly, you know, he's farming, he's getting back in his game. Alright. Still have a lead advantage in terms of CS. They have the same level. Ooh. Very aggressively against Jax. That's why I want to see this matchup. I find it's cool. It jumps. Try to go for the kill. And that's gonna die to the jungle. Okay. Okay. So what he what he was doing it was baiting Akali. Now he's resetting. No, he's not he's gonna try to push the wave the, the wave. That that would be good, yeah. Because if he can shove the wave underneath the tower. Hold on, what's happening? Oh, she TP'd. Okay, I didn't see the animation of the TP. He's gonna back. Okay. But yeah, so Akali died. Um, Jax has an assist, which is something. He's gonna help with his alacrity. And he took Vampiric. Okay, I agree. I agree on this. Absolutely, 100%. Okay, so we're gonna speed up the return on lane. Ura, ura. Let's go back. Let's go back. Amazing. I don't want to see the chat. Okay, sorry for that, guys. Uh, okay. So I presume by seeing that something is happening. The TP. That that was a good a good uh action. Is the fifth player. So let's see if that works. Okay. Alright, so let's go back a little bit. Ah. Tell me that I have to reset this finger all the time. Okay, right there. Right there. 
yeah, he's got a gate. Okay, so that's good. That's huge. Because that's gonna allow uh, Jax to grab Ikea. He have two assists, which triggers with his um, alacrity. We had seven minutes in the game, and on top of that, you have magic footwear that's gonna be at nine minutes. So that's a good call. Now we're gonna try to. Uh, that's what is so annoying about Kali for Jax because she has so much mobility. But she can escape the... If she's good, she can escape the E from Jax, right? I know that when I played against Akali multiple times, I tried to stun her. And uh, with a good timing, she could get out of there before I could even stun. Which is um, a little bit of, of a problem. That's why this matchup is interesting. Because uh, I'm not necessarily sure if Akali is a counter to, to Jax. Not necessarily. But uh, it's definitely not, not an easy matchup. Okay, so it took a plate. Okay, he's doing some damage to the CS. Okay, and now he's gonna help Javan doing the. I oh, know, he's gonna back. I believe that he wants to freeze the lane around here. Okay, now he but Okay, so he's gonna go for Bork. And he has his magical footwear. Okay, cool. Alright, that makes sense. Makes sense for the right. Now you can see the Conqueror only did. 14 healing, but he helps him the engage. Try and really help. And he has an activity at 13%. So that means that his attack speed is at 1.15, which is not bad with the item there with the Ricker Bow. That's pretty good. And he had the, the magic footwear at 8 minutes and 15 seconds. That's very good. Okay, so now he's trading with her. Yeah. And he flashed. And boom, he killed him. Okay. So I think I think that's what he was doing. He was, he was trying to bait and say, Hey, I don't have my E anymore. You can jump on me. And then she stayed around. And then he used his E. Flashed and killed him. Interesting. And then there is this scene. Okay, and he's gonna back again. You see, this is something... But I noticed with, uh, you know, master players or high level players, like the tendency to push lane and reset, push lane and reset, you know, or take a fight, push lane and reset, take an objective, push lane and reset. Th that, that's, um, that's amazing. You see, it's not staying on the, the, the lane because if it did, you see, like, uh, uh, this scene would have come from it, right? It would have come, uh, if he attacked the plate, it would have come from the back and uh, it would have uh, ganked. Uh, Jackson have potentially killed him. Alright. So, what did he take? Now, now he finishes Blade of the Rune King. When Akali, she still hasn't finished. You know, I presume that she wants to... This is not Proto Bert. I think that's the... Uh, um, I don't remember the name of that item. Um, the one that, uh, with, that give uh, Spare Vamp. We're gonna see. Anyway, so it's coming back to lane. It's pushing or shoving the wave. It's gonna try to go for a play. He doesn't know where where this scene is, so that's kind of risky. Unless he, he popped that and see it on the minimap. Like, uh, can attack, but he, he's gonna regen, okay. Okay, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't see a caddy there. Okay, I prefer like uh, having the, the floating... Uh, um, yeah, I prefer doing that. Like flo floating camera or pick on up, pick up the champ. That's the easiest way. Just getting accustomed to it. Um, there is nothing happening. So he's taking the tower. We are asking him to assist. Wow, so much problem. Yeah, because it's the first blood on the tower. So that's gonna, that's really gonna help him. So it's 3 0 and 3. And, it, and you see, like, he's it, pushing his advantage. He's not going with his teammate. He's just saying, okay, I'll be pushing and, and pushing and shoving the, the lane underneath the tower. And now there is really that, uh, that came, okay. It's coming from the back. 
Okay, he used this prime plan to see that, that, that it was worded. You see, and it's going for the objective. So you see, like, very the evil that have been summoned here. Now he's trying to help the evil take the tower. I took the dragon. Okay, so let, let's go back uh, just a little bit, okay? I just want to see the action that he has up there. Okay, so Jax is here. He's trying to have the world. He has been put airborne in the air. Boom, okay. Alright, so he waited for the world to push. He used the E. Opportunity for the teammate to clean. Then he, he got cross, he jumped away and took the tower. Now you have a 300 gold, 300 gold shut down on his head. Ooh, that was like he managed to dodge the side. But now, now he's pretty huge, like Jax. It's pretty, it's, pretty, it's pretty huge. Okay, and now he's going for his Trinity. So let's put up. Okay, so then he's split push again. But you see, like, he split push, he shoved the lane all the way to the tower, he tried to grab some objective, and then he tried to help his teammate. You know, like, he was trying to take an objective, it's because he was trying to take an objective. Seen each other's game. Plus, I want to see Conqueror. Okay, Conqueror 330. Okay. Okay, so it really is the Conqueror that helped him staying above. And he went there. He's got Senna. He's just Senna. Now it's Kesa. And Kesa killed Jax. He was pretty dumb. And after Pike, it's Chef Chaser. Interesting. But you see, like, uh, the, the team fight, this is the thing that I'm noticing in this, uh, in, in the, in the game, right? Okay, so he's, he's back. Okay, finish the screen. I don't know where he's gonna go next. Um, maybe Death Dance? But this is the thing that I'm seeing, is like, he's not necessarily participating in the team fights. He is making the team fights happen. He's going into the towers and he tried to shove the lanes, trying to grab the objective. He went in that jungle where something to play. Alright, so now he uh, he tried to shove mid. Now he's staying with Pike and Diana. Something that could be good is attacking. Okay. Okay, so what did he do? Why did he do it? I don't know, maybe he's in his quick. Maybe he thought that someone was there. But yeah, th this is the thing that I was uh, saying is like, he's not necessarily with his team. But whenever there is a team fight, it's because he made the team fight happen. That's exactly what happened on the tower. Okay, he, he wanted to help the hero the taking the tower, and and uh, and uh, Yon tried to protect it. Okay, so now it is a team fight. Okay, 
Yeah, he's having his thing. But, you know, so he's 615. And he, he hasn't done much because he has been rooted by uh, Senna's uh, uh, ultimate. So, now he's coming back. The play. Okay, we're stuck here. Yeah. Let's start some high yeah, nonsense uh, executing everybody. Okay, now they're doing the red. This thing's gonna try to contest. And he's died, he died trying. Okay. Well, it, it's good to see that it's not only, uh, you know, me, for example, when I tried to contest the dragon and I died. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think he's going for the Sterax. Okay, he's going for the Sterax, 100%. Yeah, 400 gold shut down. But you see, like, the instance where he's trying to take the objectives, right, that's when uh there's team fight happening but when he's trying to stay with his teammate and help them in the team fight uh he's not necessarily being optimal because when people see jacks in the team they're trying to avoid him or they're trying to focus him or whatever but if you can come from the side wait let the fight engage come from the side and surprise the cases the adc the apcs and all that stuff you can shut them down more efficiently or look at that this is a perfect demonstration again you know there is a t there is a fight there that happened a team fight that happened all right um jack is not there coming to try to get them he's trying to speed push all right so now he's trying to take the tower because what's happening is that if the team is not dealing with Jax, he's gonna take a tower for free. Because he's that good at taking towers. Boom. Right? So, yeah. Okay, so again, there's a team fight here. And now Jax is trying to help the teammate. Potentially. And he's trying to get the kill on face. And he got the shot. Okay. So see like he grabbed an objective the the, the TP tower on the bottom. Of the and now he's participating on the team fight. Not really. Alright. He's not chasing kills. Alright? If he if he uh if he can help his teammates after taking the objective he will, but his priority is to take objectives. Alright? Taking the skittle crab. He's pushing the wave. And he's back. Okay, what did he buy? Sterax, here you go. So first item he did four. Second item he did Trinity. Third item he did uh Sterra Game. Oh, 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 oh. Let's, let's go back. Okay, let's go down. What did the team fight? E E Okay, he's done by the ultimate of Javan and he's good. Now he's trying to I can't. You need to attack them in the air. Okay, he killed Yone. He killed Kaysa. And he killed Akari. By flash. And he uses flash and E. Alright. Absolutely stomp them. And the Conqueror they have really helped. So I can see, right? Alacrity is finished. 
the the triumph helped you know cool down yeah 35 percent the up so 20 i think it was 20 percent from the three let's go down pretty cheap 20 percent still at gauge so where does where does he have the 15 percent so you have five percent by a uh, cosmic insight but there's another ten percent from it So they are trying to take it. Now I think it's a tower. Stand here. Interesting. Now, okay, so he has 35 cooldown. You have 12, 20% uh, from uh, Trinity. Uh, Bork doesn't give any cooldowns. Stirak Gauge doesn't give any cooldown, but it gives tenacity uh, when, it, when it triggers. Doran doesn't give any cooldowns. And the Boots either. And you see that the thing interesting is that he didn't even upgrade his boots to T2. He, he stayed with the, the... And I see why he did that. Because the, the, the slightly magical boots give a 10 movement bonus in additional to the 25. Right? So if you combine that with Trinity that gives you a 5% movement speed. Right? Um, it... 5% of because it's not 5% of this but it's 5% of that right so it's at 404 which is not bad right so if you have a full gear boots like let's let's take for example Javan right let's, let's take let's take Javan uh where is he so Javan is moving at 385 and he finishes boots Right. Uh, but it doesn't have any items that is giving him a movement speed. Whereas Jax, it didn't finish his boots, but it didn't necessarily have to. Because with the slightly magical boots, yeah, the, the movement speed that he has from that and the Trinity allows him to move faster than people that doesn't have an item that gives a movement speed like Trinity. Um, you know, uh, even if I go T2. So that means that he could save on the boots. And rush the 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 Sterak, the Sterak cage a uh, gauge right, um, which makes sense. Which makes sense. Very very interesting game. Very very interesting game. Um, but you see, like uh, in terms of uh, Kia participation, he absolutely participated, right? But he, he, um, there are some instances where the team fight were, uh, I gotta say, the, the battles that he did the best is the fight that he forced. When he went into the objective, people trying to come to Jax, trying to kill Jax, right? That's where he did the best. Um, people to try to kill him. Then, uh, he was always trying to focus on the objective, cleaning up the objective, pushing the waves, you know, um, doing doing those kinds of things. And if the team is in a team fight, is trying to co come slightly after the team fight to clean up, uh, you know, the ADCs on the side or things like that. Or it's team fight that he forced, right? And the team fight that he forced is generally like if people are trying to duo Jax, it's gonna be able to wipe them. Right? Because at this stage, it's like level 14, the enemy, like, the, the, the guy that has the highest level. Uh, 
can see it here because he died not sure about this scene's level let's see 11 okay so the most the person with the the highest level was 13 i think and jacks was level 14 with a huge gold advantage um you know so it could 1v1 anybody in the enemy team anybody right so that's why that that's why jacks is so strong a Jax is strong if you go for the objective, you try to clean the towers, you try to get the, the dragons, you try to get the barons and things like that, trying to force the fight to come to you on isolated lines. And when people come to you, you know, you, you draw pressure out of your teammates. But most importantly, if you can cut, cut them off guard while trying to catch you, you can kill a few of them and then you have a numbers advantage, right? Uh, he did that a lot. He did that a lot. And after also like people trying to come and kill him, you know, yeah, obviously I have a very good understanding of Jack's macro, try disengaging when, when it makes sense, engaging when it makes sense. Like honestly, like superb. Superb. Right? And I really like the build order that he did. He did Blade of the Wing Kings first, Trinity after, Stare Gauge, but he didn't spend a single gold on the boots. Not a single gold in the boots, right? Everything that he spent was on Trinity, of a bulk Trinity Stellar Gauge, all right? And he was able to, to have that at 20 minutes in the game, all right? Um, yeah, very good. All right, guys, so I hope that you enjoyed uh, this uh, video analysis of um, Jax, um, of Flawless Demon Boss. Uh, as I said, he's a master, if I'm not uh, mistaken. And I just wanted to study his playstyle uh, because I really love Jax. He's a champion that can really carry games in solo queue. Um, especially in the top lane in jungle, it's pretty decent. Um, and I really like what I saw about uh, Conqueror. You know, uh, I see why it's good. Um, last 10, I'm not sure though, but... Uh, why not? Yeah, I, I mean, if you use it, it must it must be good. And uh, yeah, so if you found that those kinds of videos are interesting, please leave a like and subscribe. That really help the channel. And I'm gonna be for for a while experimenting different kind of content with League of Legends. But definitely, I want to cover uh, League of Legends content now on the channel. I, I will certainly do other stuff as well. At one point, another Rimworld series. You know. Uh, or you know other other games like Baldur's Gate 3 or Cyberpunk 77 and, and things like that but uh, for now uh, I'm focusing on uh, climbing and once I will climb to a level that it will be sufficient uh, I will begin to put the videos on the YouTube channel but the interim uh, I think the, the, the video uh, analysis like that is pretty good because it helps us understand what the best player does so we can copy them and get as good as them and maybe eventually beat them all right guys i will catch you on the next one take care bye